All right, so here's our intro to routing the guitar. And for the record, this is where my finger points, right there, that's center. <laughs> when you're doing this on a phone, it doesn't work so well. Usually you tend to look at yourself over here. Um, so this is not a professional anything, just for the record. So any comments on, you know what you should have done. Well, actually, no, I, I do want that. I want you, I want the should have done. That'd be cool, um, but don't LOL me, unless you want to. Uh, so, this is my first and only attempt so far at uh, routing for the guitar sustainer chip, but this is for the 9-volt battery insert. So, in case you just don't want to shove the 9-volt battery somewhere, so this is for an actual insert, and also for the ch uh, switches. So, um, that's the most important part, is getting your switches in. Um, I unfortunately did three chips, uh, no switches, sorry, and I really only need two, so um, I have an extra hole. So what I was thinking of actually doing it is actually putting in a red LED light in there, so that will help me know when it's turned on and off. And so here you go, and watch away. The first tool is the Dremel 200, or just get a Dremel tool. Uh, there's a lot of assorted stuff in here and you're not using them all, um, but primarily the router is what you're gonna need. I don't remember if it comes in this kit, so I don't even know where my dad got it from, so it's his. Um, the problem is is that it's too round and wide, forgive the uh, let go ding. Um, so drawing the pencil line here is just to find out, okay, well, how much room can I route? Because I don't have the right tools, so I'm going to measure out uh, just enough where I can at least get the Dremel tool in there and um, hopefully be able to fit, you know, all the um, the switches in, which of course I could because I'm in retrospect narrating this right now. So I'm going to freehand just where, um, where I'm going to follow because once I'm in the Dremel tool, I don't want to be, be it mangled. I mean, even though it doesn't really matter, it's going to be covered up. So... You, know, you can actually see the pencil line a little bit better. So that's where I'm going to try to go for. Um, the reality, of course, looking back at when I was doing this, um, it really doesn't matter. Just put your darn tool in there and um, go to town on it. Um, the thing is you want to try to do is less work, um, less wood. You want more wood for your integrity because, you know, if you're playing and you decide to do some bouncing hammer fist on your, <laughs> on your guitar, it's not going to be cool. All right, so now let's move into the routing part. So you'll see here on the that Dremel tool, even though it costs um, under 20 bucks, but I cut off the top portion because it would not fit. So, um, so I pretty much just sliced it off. Um, I don't even know what I used. Probably the other Dremel tools, I have two of them. And so here we go. We're going to drill some. Yeah, I forgot to wear a mask. Not bad at all. So the rest of it I actually had to do by hand. I think I got plenty of room for switch one, switch two, switch three. So that should, I mean, I definitely got room. By center here, center there, between the two. So here goes nothing. If this thing would stop shaking. <laughs> I'm so scared. Not the best, not where I wanted to be. So the pilot hole that I drill through, if I'm using the right terminology, um, going through the back and then using the thicker drill going forward, that way you you don't chip the paint out. Um, yeah, it was scary at first, but it worked perfectly fine. Okay. 
You see that? The routing depth was not deep enough because the, tr the potentiometer volume knob happens to be bigger than these switches. Yes, I just dropped my guitar. So I gotta make it deeper by like an eighth of an inch. So to keep wood integrity, I had to put some, again, some of that, uh, I remember the name. It is called Fleck Feel. So, fumes are pretty head intense. Could use a hair dryer. I think after it, I might actually um, spread some wood glue right on top of it. I should be looking at that. That's that's head on. I'm thinking the camera's over there, but because um, the uh, the body is kind of thin, I mean it might be close to a quarter inch maybe. So now I got to wait and dry before I can do the rest of the pin uh, switches. Here's how I'm measuring. So remember the faint pencil line I have here. That's basically the space between here and here, just keeping the same angle. So now I'm putting this upside down so I know exactly where my space will be on the back of the guitar. So now all I can simply need to do is just see where center is here, leaving a gap. And then I'm going to, I should pull that closer actually. Yeah, I'm going to bring that a little bit closer. So. I already have a dot there that I was going to start drilling, but I'm glad I filmed this so I can uh, redo, reposition that. So this way I can make sure I'm not going too far out and I lose all the space in my, in the, uh, in the, in the space behind that I routed out. Two holes. I think they're a little too close. I should have stayed with what I said earlier. So, and then we're going to go to the final one. And I'll just move this one over a little bit more since I have a lot of space in the back. So now I'm drilling from the top down since I already have the first initial hole done. Now for the uh, nine volt battery casing. So um, so I'm using the um, the spring uh, side as level, so that way I can as use the block. Um, so if the left side at least measures up, then the bottom portion here should be also equal, you know, in the perfect 90 degree concept of it all. So I'm using the block there, flush to the left, so I should be okay. So at least that will give me my first section of it. And um, the problem with it's like pencil, I'm using pencil, but it's it, it gets really tricky when you're trying to <laughs> do pencil on top of black. And... Um, so fast forwarding all this nonsense, um, when I was, uh, what do you call it? Um, doing the routing, it was so hard to see the pencil line. So I don't know if you guys got some better idea, just figure that. Um, this is the nine volt casing. That's a piece of junk Buy the one that already has the, uh, the wiring and then you'll be, you'll be fine and just make sure you got room for the drilling the hole. All right. So fast forwarding, you get the idea It's measured out using the Dremel. I'm going to cut out the main plate where it rests seats in. When I'm done, obviously you see here, it's now flush inside. Um, it you know, doesn't sink too deep. Now I'm measuring for the inside box, which is where the uh, nine volt um, is going to rest. So fast forward. And now I got those measurements. Now I can come up to the line and now I can draw on, on the wood. Uh, my mangled wood <laughs> for my inside box where I'm going to use the router and I have to use a real router not the Dremel tool the Dremel tool is not deep enough and if you're going to use a Dremel tool go for it but you're going to have to do it all by hand freehand you're not going to have any guide um, mm, may work but you really got to be careful because you'll poke right through the other side of the guitar and fast forward here and you'll see that that the depth of the box is that's where it's going to set into and of course with a router it's all rounded so here's the router i happen to just have one and so i'm measuring the depth so i can lock it in and um just a little bit extra i'm trying to just like kind of throw a 16th of an inch extra on that and then um then we'll be good and you're going to need someone to hold the guitar down so that's that 
So all I did was just squirt the uh, flex seal in here and I just gotta squirt it, uh, move it around. So here we are. We got their battery power in there so that this will, of course I didn't even uh, didn't close it up, but the battery will actually slide and pull the wire so you have to have that slack. So that will go in there. Once I drill this in, I am going to epoxy in here a little bit. There you have it. A horrible makeshift job. Eh, what can you do? It's what amateurs are. We're just pioneers and breaking things and starting all over and take five. Um, for those in my sustained group on Facebook, um, thank you a lot for helping out with the group because I haven't been feeling well. I've been a lot of neck crap problems and stuff. So, um, as you know, like I'm already done with the chip and um, that battery pack that you see, which is, you know, you see how gooped up everything is. So, just to do some hindsight and uh, let you know, um, even though you'll need a router, but you know, it'd be good. To, I should have used painter's tape, the blue tape, um, constantly. Should have used it. Um, I didn't. And that's why it's all goopy. Disgusting. Um, I'm sure the professionals have these tools that mark it all out and do it all for them. I don't know. But, uh, so use blue tape. I would say that's a big thing. Um, as far as like getting perfect corners and stuff, um, on those, uh, you know, using the router, I don't know. I mean, whether you people probably use a chisel, to tell you the truth, it would be a smart thing to use. Rarely sharp chisel, but, hey, come on. That's not what we do for a living. Um, the, uh, just the, the battery pack that I bought, I actually bought the empty casing, so I had to make up my own um, insert, which makes me angry. Um, but make sure you buy the one that has it already installed, so that way you slip the... Uh, nine volt in and locks in and you shut it so that's that um all right so we got the driver done and we got the casing done we're ready for wiring i'm still building the circuit board as uh, even though i've done i made two of them already um i have problems with it uh, things are measuring right but it's something's wrong and there might be actually something wrong with the amp that i'm actually using so maybe that nine volt amp that i built you know, one of those tin can amplifiers that uh, Evan Kale um, showed. I was using that to drive it. And I also have, um, I don't even know if it's on here, but I have one of the um, little orange 9 volt um, amps, but same concept, you know, so it's the same uh, LM386 amp. And that's it. All right, moving on to the final piece. I hope I can get something done, but, you know, life gets in the way. All right, take care, guys.